Hi everyone, this is Roger. I want to share with you today how reflecting on a lesson that actually left me pretty confused <laughs> ended up improving my own, my own teaching skills, my overall teaching skills. You see, sometimes I work with teenagers and last week I was, as I was working with a group of them, I had an odd experience that I didn't fully understand, at least not at first. Since no other teachers or mentors or anyone was, were observing my class, I couldn't get an external point of view. So I realized I needed to sit down, slow down my thinking, and reflect a little bit on what had helped and what had hindered um, that, the development of the class and learning that day. So let me tell you a little bit about um, my experience as I guide you through my reflection. So first of all, a little bit of context. I was working with a group of about 40 teenagers and I was working with comparative forms. Students um, were given two different pictures and where they were working in, with a partner in pairs comparing the pictures. As they were working, I looked at my watch and I realized I was running out of time. I only had about three minutes left. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> So, and I really knew that I wanted them to work with at least one other partner with a different set of pictures. So I quickly raised my hand to get people's attention and gave the new instructions, which were, please work with a new partner with a new set of pictures. And then, <laughs> as students were working, I noticed that some students were on task and, and doing a good job, whereas there were other students who um, were sitting in the back of the room and they weren't necessarily listening to me as I gave instructions because they were pretty much off task. I saw one student actually stand up from the back of the room and leave the room. I don't know what was going on. I saw two other students who were taking notes. Um, it seemed like on the comparative forms, but they weren't doing the task with the picture. And then I also saw three students in the very back who seemed to be chit-chatting in their native language. And it wasn't really about the comparative form that they were talking about. So of course, at this point, I felt frustrated, a little confused because I was no longer helping my students in this, in this moment and they weren't following the task. So as all of this happened and when we came back together as a whole group and we checked answers, of course, the students who were in the back didn't participate much and seemed pretty lost whereas the people in the front were doing really well. Now, at this point, I thought, okay, I need to sit down, look back at what was going on to reflect quite a bit. And I noticed that, yes, I did something really positive, which was to raise my hand, because I did get most of the class's attention and as I gave instructions. However, I also remembered that when I raised my hand, even though it was kind of loud, I started giving instructions immediately and I really doubt that the students who were in the back knew, listened to what I was saying, understood what I was saying. Maybe they didn't even know I was talking. And I really didn't notice that in that moment because I was, I was moving really quickly. And that is probably why they were off task. Now, after doing this reflection of what, what might have helped, what might have hindered, I realized that I want to do better. So next time I'm in a similar situation, I'm going to make sure that, yes, I raise my hand, but that before I give the new set of instructions, I make sure that everyone in the class, even those in the back, are paying attention to what I am saying. And that was my reflection.